Frequent Earwax Picking There is a lively little boy in the small town, everyone calls him called David, he is smart and good habits, lively and cheerful, is the famous star of the town. But he also has a bad habit, that is, he likes to pick out earwax. Sometimes he uses his fingers to dig out his earwax, and sometimes he uses his father's tools to dig out his earwax. If he doesn't pick out his earwax for a day, he will feel itchy. One day David was bored at home and started picking out earwax with his fingers while watching TV. Ouch, it hurts so much, David suddenly screamed. When he saw blood on his fingers, he was frightened and panicked. His ears felt buzzing from the sound. Mom quickly took David to the hospital for various examinations. After the examination, the doctor's uncle told David that his ears were scarred because of David's frequent removal of earwax. Now he would bleed if he was not careful. The doctor's uncle also told David that earwax is formed by a kind of ear canal secretion called ear canal mixed with dust and dander. Earwax is rich in oil, which can form a protective film on the surface of the ear canal skin to resist bacteria and viruses. It can block the entry of external dust and dirty water, filter and buffer incoming sound waves, and protect the eardrum from injury. Picking out earwax casually will accelerate the shedding of dead skin in the ear canal, causing more and more earwax. Fingernails or sharp objects may scratch the skin of the external auditory canal and cause infection. Blindly picking out earwax may accidentally injure the tympanic membrane, leading to hearing loss or even deafness. Hearing this, David couldn't help but get scared. It turns out that regularly picking out earwax has so many dangers. David told the doctor that I would never pick out earwax again, but David was curious, what should I do if there is too much earwax? The doctor uncle told David not to worry, our ears have a natural cleaning function, and earwax will slip out of our ears quietly. If the earwax is large and hard to come out, you can ask a doctor for help. David remembered the doctor's uncle's words and will never pick out earwax again. After returning home, David takes better care of his ears and uses them to listen to the beautiful notes in life.